What's up everybody, d Geigs here. I just want to briefly talk about Halo 2. Uh, you got me playing some Halo 4 in the background. I hope you enjoy this gameplay, Oddball on Haven. Moving along now to Halo 2, why I brought you here. I want to bring this to your attention. 343 Industries absolutely needs to remake this game, at least the multiplayer itself. Let me get into some brief details for you. Halo 2 was released for the Xbox, the original Xbox, which still had Xbox Live at the time. And on its release, Halo 2 was the most popular video game on the Xbox Live, and it was holding that rank until the release of Gears of War for the Xbox 360. Since Halo 2 was released for Xbox, it held the number one multiplayer game slot until a game for Xbox 360 came out, Gears of War, about two years later. Some more fun facts for you. By June 20th, 2006, more than 500 million, 500 million games of Halo 2 have been played and more than 710 million hours have been spent playing it on Xbox Live. That's a lot of time wasted. By May 9th, 2007, this number had risen to more than 5 million unique players, which some people could have made second accounts, which I know I did, and I'm sure a whole bunch of other people did, but still. So we'll, we'll just we'll just chop that number a little bit. We'll just say about 4 million probably unique players, maybe, maybe 3.5, give or take. And Halo 2 is the best-selling first-generation Xbox game. Nothing will ever take that place, ever. Unfortunately, Halo 2 servers were discontinued, April 2010, which I remember Bungie making it kind of a big deal, and they, they gave away some stuff to people that uh, played Halo 2 on that on a gamer tag that they recently use now for Halo Reach. And some of the reasons that made Halo 2 such a great multiplayer game is the best multiplayer game, hands down. I will never forget the times that I had playing that game. Well, number one, Call of Duty wasn't really there to compete with it. Don't get me wrong, Call of Duty is a great game, multiplayer-wise. Oh, Halo 2 multiplayer, it just n nothing Nothing could compete to the level of uh, competitiveness and uh, gameplay, people working together, teamwork. It, it was absolutely ridiculous, and it was the uh, number one played game for MLG. It was most popular, made their own playlist for it, and it was amazing. Some of the positive things, the competitive gameplay for Halo off the chain, and what I'm talking about is the speed of the player movement, fast kill times, four shot kills, and some of the BXR glitches. Some of the negatives, which were illegal in MLG, was the super bounce, which I, I, I can kind of bounce that back and forth to being a positive, just because it's so fun to do, but it was illegal in MLG settings. And the noob combo, which absolutely ridiculous, and what I'm talking about is a charged plasma pistol shot, it's hit detection and its tracking was so ridiculous you shoot out that charged plasma shot switch to your battle rifle one shot kill the head kill time was ridiculous like that with like a, a half a second depending how close you were but the reason why i i absolutely loved halo 2's multiplayer my main reason is it was all about outclassing your opponent whoever was more skilled would win a br battle nine out of ten times hands down no questions asked. It was about the strafe, the jump, landing all four shots, getting the first shot off. And if somebody was better than you, they would they could easily turn around and land their four shots and move on. The BXR glitch, and if you don't know what that is, is it would be a melee, and then you press X, and then you press the right trigger immediately, hence BXR. And what it would do, it was melee, and then an automatic shot from your battle rifle, and it would be a kill if you hit him in the head. And it it was it was like a shotgun basically. It, it was ridiculous. And if you if you didn't know how to do it and you had to have proper timing quad shotting pressing rr or shoot shoot reload and then yy to switch your secondary back to your primary and rrx again would deliver a four shot kill that was ridiculously fast it, it is a glitch in the game to my understanding it was not illegal in mlg settings basically make four shots come out of your battle rifle extremely fast and if all four of those shots landed and you got your last shot to be on the head it'd be a kill the sniper rifle was a true power weapon true power weapon if you got that thing in your hands because of the aim assist you could swipe snipe sniping in the head was extremely Extremely easy. You did have to have a little bit of skill to use it. The ability to swipe snipe with the auto aim, it headshot almost every time, guaranteed. What I want to talk about here, this is this is what I want to bring to 343's attention. If they were to remake Halo 2 multiplayer and release it 
reform just like they did with uh, Halo Combat Evolved. Take the exact same game coding and remodify it to a different engine like similar to Halo 4's graphics engine which I know can be done because looking back at Halo Combat Evolved uh, they use the same coding and I could tell because some of the glitches in the campaign were the same and I was absolutely furious that they took away the multiplayer and used like Reach Engine and it had the pistol had Bloom, hit accuracy wasn't the same weapons were in the wrong place on the classic maps and it was ridiculous but if 343 were, were to remake this game same codings as the last update for halo 2 multiplayer this game would fly off the charts and actually be a great competitor with call of duty probably would take over its place not to mention you could release downloadable maps if you could put a forge in there that'd be great too to make even newer maps but you release some classic maps you know a month after the game's released some other kind of downloadable content and you know to just just to go along with the game re-release the campaign left off right from halo 1 right where you guys left off when you guys took over halo 2 resumes people that may have missed out because they were younger obviously 2004 was nine years ago a little bit of the younger generation didn't get to experience halo 2 neither did they get to experience halo 1 but you guys re-released it made the campaign again exactly true to form great campaign i love that campaign release halo 2's campaign again so the younger generation can get the full understanding of the halo trilogy that bungie had presented that's just what i wanted to present i hope 343 industries remakes this multiplayer and i, I would i would be willing more than willing to shell out 60 dollars for this thing absolutely in a heartbeat and even maybe wait until you know the next gen xbox 720 console comes out it's kind of iffy the way that i see it is if you were to sell it november 2014 november 9th 2014 10 year anniversary another selling point so that's just that's just some of the ideas i'm throwing out that's all i really got for you guys today hit that like button if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section your opinion on this presentation I brought at hand to 343 Industries. Thank you all for stopping by. As always, I love you and stay beautiful. Bye-bye.